Hello gaming gamers and gaming minions. How you doing? Got my Atari shirt on, which I only just purchased yesterday. Now, I'm off to London, right? And where I'm going is to a place called the Heart of Gaming. Now, I was introduced to this place by my mate Pete, uh, who lives not too far from it, okay? And um, when I went into this place, I thought, whoa, this place is amazing. And I also thought, how could I have missed this sort of place before? And how did I not know about it? Basically, it's a gaming place, okay? They have arcades in there, or arcade machines, cabinets, and uh, you can play the old, good old stuff on there. They have like the old shooters like, what's that, Time Crisis? They've got Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U. I think they've got an N64, I think they've got Mega Drive, I think they've got a SNES. They've got PS4s and things like that. Basically, it's just a gaming hub which I actually loved. Unfortunately, I did take a few photos, but I didn't actually take a few videos. So what I'm gonna be trying to do today, you know, is actually, I've been sunned in a way. What I'm actually gonna to try to do is capture what I can. I don't think you're not allowed to actually take any footage, but in respect to the guys that um part of gaming, if they say, nah, I'm not really needed, then that's fine. I'll just take some pictures as well. So I can put it on the old uh, YouTube, edit it and everything, so. You guys can see what it is all about. I'm pretty sure some of you may have heard of it, but I don't know if all of you have. But you wouldn't do if you were across the pond or anything like that. Unless, of course, you came over here and visited uh, London and that specific area and actually went there. Okay, so basically, I'm actually going to be getting a train there. It's going to take about an hour and a half. And the time has just gone after half past eight in the morning. And it's a beautiful day for it and everything. I'm just with my, my missus over there. She's just walking, listening to her music, aren't you, babe? I wouldn't be in this camera if I were you. I'm recording. I wouldn't be in the camera if I were you. I'm recording. Mm. Yeah, that's better. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to be getting the train there. It takes an hour and a half to get there. Yada, yada, yada. I really am looking forward to showing you this place, if none of you have actually seen it. You know? I mean, it's new. Okay, it is new. I think when I was looking at some of the um, questions for the interviews on there, they needed a bit of crowdfunding to actually support them with getting a lot of things in. I think they're at the moment renovating the building in small areas, so you'll have to go in still. It doesn't mean to say it's a bad place. It's fantastic. I loved it there. Probably the best place I've actually been to in London. Especially when it, since I'm a gamer, I've been in one for over 22.5 decades now. <laughs> so about 25 years I've been a gamer. Um, that's flown by it's going to be absolutely amazing showing you this place you know because i really want um this place to be very very packed i mean they hold gaming tournaments there as well so they so i asked um when i went there last month it wasn't that packed because that's when the world cup was on and not to mention the fact it was uh i think it was afternoonish time i went but maybe it's just one of those days where it was hot everyone was out and no one really wants to stay in, but it, was, it had a few fair people in there. I was watching them play Smash Brothers. I don't know if they knew each other, but you can bring your own control pads as well, you know, for the various consoles they get. I think they do supply them. I mean, I only just figured that out when uh, I didn't even notice the cabinet behind the desk. And yet, <laughs> I was like, oh, we could have just asked for some control pads. I didn't even realise. So I bought some of my own just in case. Right. I could put my, I forgot to bring my GameCube, I think they supply them anyway, so it's fine. I bought two PS3 pads, two PS4, two Super Nintendo Entertainment Systems, or SNESs rather. Did I bring my PS1 control pad? I think I did. Two N64s control pads. <clears throat> I don't want to bring my 360 ones, so I don't really think I want to play any of the games on the 360. But in any case, um, yeah, okay. Okay. Here I am in the London, in the shopping centre. I think in the next shopping centre to my right outside, it's probably where the uh, actual heart of gaming is. But my missus wants to look around the shops for a bit. Considering the fact I've never been to this part of London in the shopping centre myself, uh, we're just going to look around for a bit and have a bit of shop. Meanwhile, before we go into the awesome place that is known as Heart of Gaming, we're just going to look around the shopping centres and just purchase a few things. I like this. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It looks really good with the stuff they got in there, yeah. Fragrance shop. What is it with my fiance going in every shop that she sees? I've put up with this for so, so long now, and I still keep on questioning myself why she does it. 
I want to go to the gaming place. I want to go to Heart of Gaming. I can hear you, you know. She can hear me, everyone. She can hear me. My mouth ain't that big. It's on the Black Hall Tunnel, you know. Racist. Okay, I'm fully aware that women do like to complain about price and what they can't find in shops, but goodness me, she's going to the next level. Blimey. Okay, just came outside of Pete's Hut, had a nice meal, and I'm finally here. Just on the outside of it. It's on Atari Lynx. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful. And everything. Uh, I think I gave it to you. If not, I'll check in my wallet or something. Ooh, hello. It's pretty cool. The heart of gaming. Yay! Oh, was that? Oh, I'm not paying a bit of that. Such retro gaming majesty of awesomeness here. Kind of a bit too fast, eh? Look at these games here. So look at this. Nice. Look on the old cassettes, man. Goodness me. These are pretty cool. Not badly priced, are they? They're actually really good. Some 50p, some 99. Everything good as me. Look at old cassette tapes. Good old days of the 80s of gaming. Oof. Can't sound about that again. Here's the floppy discs. Are they floppy disks? Oh my goodness me. That's for the good old Commodore. Oh well, I need to get myself my hands on all this. Well, I'm standing right here right now. It's amazing, amazing. I'm missing my old TV screens and everything. <laughs> How much I love this place is absolutely amazing. Good old smash on the 64, yeah. I'd really do recommend that if you're watching this video that you just get your backsides down here. Right? It's amazing here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring any uh I brought my PS2 control pads here. Yeah. Go on Sonic. <laughs> this is such a great place. Wish they did more places like this around where I live, but I'm moving house anyway, so I'm not bothered. All these are for free, you have to pay or nothing. Nout, it's fantastic in here. Well, look, me and my fiance are playing on Double Dash on, yeah, so we've got another little GameCube control pads, so I'll pick that one. Now I'd love to play this with one hand, but I'm afraid I can't. Which, which, which cup do you want? Hey, you, you scroll through, which cup do you want? Easy. Well, probably the mushroom cup then. 
Here we go. Right. Just hold it there. Hang on. Hey, hey. Yeah, let's hold that there. And the phone's on my uh, legs at the moment. We just came forth, everyone. Let's see if we can do better. Sorry about this. It's such a really, really bad uh, camera view. Yeah, there's the nice Wii U over there. Got all these couches, everything. Smash Brothers goodness. That's the Nintendo Switch. It might be a the one I'm plugged in there, that one. In terms of everything else, this. The whole amazingness of it. What? Oh, there, go on. That'd be great, yeah. Have fun. I'm from Junior, man. All this arcade goodness in here. I'm loving it. They've got a lot more stuff in here than they, had, than they did last month. Of course, they're getting new stuff in and everything, which is brilliant. But yeah. Woo! Just playing um, Marvel vs. Capcom, right? And my fiance says, Oh, no, no, I'm moaning that she's going to lose. And she just says, No, I'm not going to be good at this game. Directs one of my characters and almost beat me on that, but she did really well. Really, really good, this. Come on, Cyclops. I'll try and fight with one hand if I can. Dr. Doom, yeah, come on. There you go. You've got to press that one to come back in the game if you lose. Yeah. Let's do this. Where am I? Oh, I've still got these three. I chose Venom, Cyclops and Hulk. Oh, you've been the person who took, beat my first character again. You be in your style, mate. Oh, you, you would be it. You can be him as well. No, I can't. Oh. Oh, I picked him. Oh, bloody. I didn't know that worked in this game. Colossus, huh? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and try fight you with one hand, yeah? Yeah. Give him a bit of a yeah. handicap. Yeah, I probably will lose, but, you know, I'll, I'll... let's do our best for this great arcade. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, I'm what? I'm what? <laughs> come on, here we go. I am getting wrecked here. Are you tooting Carmoon or something? Oh, yo. Get off me, man. Come on, Venom, go, go, go. Yeah. Owning, look at, oh, look at that. <laughs> Bloody hell. Use your tongue, man. Oh, I'm losing all of my health there. Switch. How do you swap? Oh. This is difficult just using one hand. Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, okay. Come on, Cyclops. You got it, mate. Optic sweep. Optic blast. Damn it. You know what? I'll just fight. I don't want to even move. I won't even move. Finally! I'm getting wreck it like wreck it Ralph. Come on. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, I lost. <laughs> well, that was really good. Oh, me. Playing raspberries and everything. Hey, do you know what I actually regret telling my girlfriend right now or my fiance? 
to button mash and she almost whooped me with her three characters. I actually find that great. Not that saying she's bad at game, she's bloody good, but goodness me, this is a good challenge on here. She's kicking now, eh? Almost got beaten with these three characters. They're not even my best. I don't even know who's my best on this game, but it's fun. Honestly, that was actually intense. It started out 1-0. Then I went 2 0 up, then she came back 2 1. I went up 3 1, then she came back 3 2. She beat me 4 bloody 3. Goodness me. She's a button mashing wizard, this one. It's like I was fighting about four different characters on the screen at once. I was only trying to use my normal attacks, but then she just goes all berserk on the thing. Anyway, we're going to both be going on that game now. Uh, that one. So uh, let's see who tries the best out of this one. QTE Fighting Mania. Come on, babe. What are you doing here? Don't you know ready? 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 Get ready. Get ready to punch him. Punch him. That's it. Go on. That's it. Punch him. That's it. Yeah, go on. Knock him out. <laughs> oh. These are quite quick. That's it. Yeah, knock him out. Some nerve, eh? Oh, he's talking to you. So good, it's nice. <laughs> Go, babe. The hundred crack fist of the North Star. That was pretty good. Already dead. That was pretty fun. What? You win. Shinken has no equal. It's the really North Star death by soft strikes. It's really hot. Bad lump of lard. This can't be. You win. I want one of these. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Yeah, it's just that button. That's the jump, bro. Okay. You only got the stick in that button. That's it. This game was a classic legend. Here's a bit, yeah. Because we just spent our time punching something. Go on, go, go. Go on, jump man. Here you go, climb up the ladders. You got to follow up this way. Jump over the barrels, don't let nothing hit you. I'm not used to it. I know, trust me, it's new. Oh, sorry, go on. That's it, keep going. Up. Left, jump. Up. Ooh, that was a close one. They will do that. They will do that. There's over 100 levels on this thing. I don't get what you have to do in this one. I'm gonna do it, just do this. What? No, I mean, uh, is the camera on? Yep, we're rolling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, um. You 
would, wouldn't you? Shows them on the ladder, it would. It would. Oh, you should do the dance one with me. Yeah, I'll give her a dance go, yeah. I'll have my last go on this so we can get up to the top. Yeah, I'll do the dance, yeah. Here we go. Oh. oh, too soon of a jump. One more try. One more try. Just one more, one more, one more. First one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on, you silly. You're an idiot now. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Just finished on the dance one with my fiance. I swear it was rigged because it said that I had the easy one, she had the novice one. Yeah, I had more blooming arrows to step on and I had a lot faster rate for some reason. I couldn't record it because we were both dancing, but yeah, it was good though, it was really good. Woo! Well, I mean, my legs, honestly. Woo! Alright then, so we just finished Heart of Gaming and it was absolutely fantastic, I loved it. I recommend everyone who's watching this video to actually please go to London East Croydon uh, shopping centre area and it's actually inside the shopping centre. It's opposite um, another retail outlet. If you go through the main doors, go up right on the stairs or the escalators, which I'm going to go on now. It's, you just find it right at the back there. There we are, on the escalators. Oh, here I go, just going down. I'm going downtown, really, bruv. So you take good care of yourselves, fellow gaming minions, and you may retro gaming live on most definitely, especially after this experience. My fiance loved it, I loved it, and we're coming back again soon. Wish I could come here every day, actually, but, you know, help the guys out to get more money and stuff, but I love my gaming, and there you go. It's a great way to meet other gamers, this amazing gaming hub. It's just fantastic. So take care, and thank you for watching. Do you want to see my fiance on the bed? You do it, and I'll, and I'll call you on YouTube. I'm just kidding. Well, basically, that was the Half Gaming folks. I'm going to leave their address and pretty much everything. They are on Facebook, okay? So feel free to actually add them or join them or wherever how it works. I recommend you come down and at least try out. As I said, they sort of newly... They bring in new things every now and again as much as they can to make it more lively. As I said in the video, that when I went there last month, it was a little bit empty. But apparently it's much more packed on weekends. But I might go there on a weekend one day. In fact, I will. So they're going to be adding in new machines. They've got a little bit of a gaming shop outside, which wasn't there last time either. And when I went to the other shop to find out where on earth they actually moved to, there it is. All those pictures I took that you saw in the video was actually part of that shop. What are you complaining about? What are you miming my words for? Carry on. Yeah. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. You will have a fantastic time. All the arcades are for free. They give out their own control pads, so and they um, just in case you haven't got any. And you can have a whale of a blast of a time there. Blast from the past. It unites gamers. You can just have a game with other people. Other gamers, sorry. And just have a great time with the staff. You know, just have a chat. You know, get involved. Get down there. I'm not saying no more. I'm Dr. Virtual. May retro gaming live on my gorgeous fellow gaming minions and you tell me what you think about this video and I love to go in there and I'm going back there again. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out. I ain't do out. Come on. What? Is he still recording? Oh yeah. <laughs>